While a new report from the American Cancer Society shows an overall drop in U.S. cancer deaths, it also highlights a startling uptick in the number of young women being diagnosed with the disease. According to the report, the cancer mortality rate in the U.S. fell 34% from 1991 through 2022, averting roughly 4.5 million deaths. However, in 2021, women under the age of 50 were 82% more likely to develop cancer than men in the same age group. That marks a 51% increase from cancer rates among young women in 2002. Researchers say breast and thyroid cancers account for nearly half of the diagnoses in this group. Imagine being in the prime of your life, only to be confronted with a cancer diagnosis. This unsettling reality is becoming increasingly common among young adults in the United States. Today, we delve into the factors behind this rise, and more importantly, what you can do to safeguard your health. Recent studies reveal a concerning trend. Cancer rates among individuals under 50 are climbing. Notably, colorectal cancer has become the leading cause of cancer death in men under 50, and the second in women. But what's driving this surge? Our modern lifestyle is now under scrutiny. Diets rich in ultra-processed foods, sedentary habits, and increased alcohol consumption are all in the spotlight. Ultra-processed foods, often high in sugars and unhealthy fats, have been linked to a higher risk of gastrointestinal cancers. These foods can disrupt our gut microbiome, leading to inflammation, a known precursor to cancer. Sedentary lifestyles contribute to obesity, another significant risk factor. Regular physical activity helps regulate hormones and maintain a healthy weight, both crucial in cancer prevention. Alcohol, classified as a group one carcinogen, is directly linked to several cancers, including those of the digestive tract. Even moderate consumption can increase risk. Now, beyond lifestyle, environmental exposures play a role. Forever chemicals like PFAS found in nonstick cookware and food packaging are pervasive. These substances can disrupt endocrine function and have been linked to various cancers. Light pollution and disrupted sleep patterns can interfere with melatonin production, a hormone that regulates sleep and has antioxidant properties that may protect against cancer. Now, early detection is vital. Regular screenings, such as colonoscopies, can identify precancerous changes before they develop into full-blown cancer. The American Cancer Society recommends that individuals at average risk begin colorectal cancer screening at age 45. While some risk factors are beyond our control, many are within our reach. Here are some actionable steps to reduce your cancer risk. First, adopt a balanced diet. Emphasize whole foods, fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Limit intake of ultra-processed foods and red meats. Second, engage in regular physical activity. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. Activities like brisk walking, cycling, or swimming can make a significant difference. Third, limit alcohol consumption. If you choose to drink, do so in moderation. The CDC defines moderate drinking as up to one drink per day for women and two for men. Lastly, prioritize sleep and stress management. Establish a regular sleep schedule and create a restful environment. Incorporate stress reduction techniques, such as meditation or yoga, into your routine. The rise in cancer among young adults is a multifaceted issue, but knowledge is power. By understanding the risks and making informed lifestyle choices, you can take proactive steps toward a healthier future. Stay informed, stay proactive, and as always, stay dynamic. Now, if you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content. Together, we can make a difference, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.